All right, let's uh, do a much hated question today. Uh, it's question 29, uh, divide two integers. We have two integers, divide and then divisor. We need to perform a division between these two without using multiplication, division, and mod. So we are looking at uh, addition, subtraction, and uh, uh, potentially bit bitwise operation like a shift. So when you do shifts, it's uh, equivalent to uh, multiple multiply and or divide by uh, the powers of twos so uh, we can potentially use that to uh, reduce the complexity of the uh, time complexity of the algorithm we need to return the quotients after the division and the quotients are truncated towards zero uh, if we have 10 and uh, di divide by 3 we get uh, 3 and 1 third uh, the final uh, result after truncation is, th is 3 the second example we have 7 and negative 3 uh, the, after truncation the result is negative 2 so we notice that uh, the divide and then divisor can have different signs so based on the signs they have uh, four different combinations uh, if we have if L, uh, some if and else logics to handle the case uh, differently it will be complex so uh, just look at uh, 7 and negative 3 if we divide 7 by 3 we get the 2 and a third after truncation will become 2 uh, we can uh, effectively convert this two number into the same sign and do a uh, division and in the end uh, plug back the uh, correct sign before the quotients um, that, that will uh, result be the same so um, just some simplification of code we can convert them both to the same sign do division and plug back the sign um, some notes here um, I'm blocking it so the uh, both numbers are 32 bits signed integers and assume that we are in an environment and we could use only use this uh, integers 32 bit integers signed integers so if the code has kind of conversion from signed into integer to unsigned or use a long, uh, it's violating this uh, this requirement actually. Uh, notice this uh, range of uh, integers for the 32-bit signed integers. It's a negative uh, 2 to the 31, uh, 2, 2 to the 31 minus 1. So we, we have one more number in the negative side. And if we divide this uh, uh, negative 2 to the 31 by negative 1, uh, it will overflow because uh, the, in the positive side, it, it, the maximum is uh, one less than the uh, you know the division result from divide this uh, minimum integer by negative one. So it will overflow. In in the case of overflow, we're gonna return this uh, uh, the maximum integer as the uh, result. So we're gonna have some code in the beginning to handle that overflow situation. And this also tells us that uh, if we indeed convert both number into the same sign we need to convert them into the negative side um, that's because if we have divide and then divisor to be uh, this uh, minimum integer here um, if we convert that into the maximum it will overflow and cause the uh, calculation to be problematic so that's uh, pretty much the question um, just on the notion of uh, quotient um, so the quotient is basically the number of times we can uh, subtract the divide, divisor from dividend if they are the same sign. So let's say if we have 10, uh, 3, we can subtract uh, 3 from 10 3 times before we couldn't do do that, right? Uh, we, we get a 1 in the end and 1 is less than 3, we couldn't do one more subtraction. So if we just do that, uh, uh, code that uh, heuristic uh, in, in code, it will be linear time with respect to the number of times we can uh, do subtracting, which is, uh, which is uh, uh, effectively the absolute value for the quotient here. Uh, so that will lead us to a linear time algorithm, and we will try to uh, optimize from at that point. So let's f first uh, code the question with the linear time algorithm because it lays the fundamental uh, foundational code blocks for the for the for this problem, and we will try to improve that. Um, you know, the f first try is linear. Then what the the improvement we are looking at is try to bring the time into uh, log territory. Uh, we're going to talk about that later on as well. So um, just to, just um, um, you know code up uh, this uh, uh, heuristic. 
um, if we can if we convert both number into a negative uh, the times that we can subtract divisor from dividend is that uh, the divider dividend it's uh, it's less than uh, divisor so the it has a larger absolute absolute value uh, compared to divisor uh, then we just uh, do one subtraction uh, and increment uh, quotient. In the end, we return the quotient in the correct uh, sign. So to get the sign, uh, we'll just uh, see if if and only if a one of the two number is uh, a negative so it's a boolean flag um, uh, let's use an exclusive all so only uh, if and only if one side is uh, true uh, this is true uh, so that that handles the sign, and we need to do the conversion. If it's a positive, we convert that into the negative sign. Otherwise, let it be. Uh, yeah, we do the same thing for the divisor as well. Copy paste. And in the very beginning, we handle the overflow edge cases. Um, Probably gonna add one more line to make this a little bit faster. Okay, uh, so that's uh, pretty much the uh, linear time algorithm. Um, uh, okay, let, let m be the uh, correct absolute value for the quotient. The the this loop is uh, order of n towards that. We we'll basically increment. Uh, uh, from zero to get to the end here. So that's uh, that's pretty much the time complexity for this algorithm. Um, it's a naive uh, uh, first to try. Uh, so we want to look uh, into how we can um, f speed up this process. So instead of uh, subtract by this uh, divisor number, we can actually try to subtract a multiple of the divisor. Um, we can do that by uh, trying to double this divide uh, have an accumulator initially to be the same amount of divisor, but uh, try to double it every in every iteration. So that can um, so in the end we uh, let's say that uh, we have like uh, 33, uh, 63 uh, divided by two. Uh, instead of uh, subtract two every time, we would do uh, we would just consider um, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two. Uh, until we we couldn't couldn't double the accumulator, uh, so that's uh, that's gonna be an improvement. Uh, so the code will be uh, the termination criteria is still the same. Uh, we're gonna try to subtract a, a number from dividend uh, until we couldn't do so. But uh, instead of uh, subtract by divisor, we we gonna subtract by accumulator. So we need to initialize that here, uh, actually inside here. So the condition for this, uh, we want to double this accumulator every time. This I here just uh, uh, you know keep track of how many times we uh, did the double. Um, so uh, we we could increment or shift by one. It's the same. Um, uh, let's just do uh, addition. Uh, okay. The condition here is that uh, the accumulator when we do the doublings, uh, it's still smaller than the dividend in the absolute value kind of a sense. 
and uh, we, we don't want this to be overflow as well so uh, we, we don't want the double to be overflow as well so we compare that with a half of the integer uh, minimum integer uh, so uh, the, the logic here is that uh, we shifted the minimum integer towards right uh, by one so that's uh, halving it and uh, so so we know that uh, when we double this we are not going to be overflowing and we don't want to overflow this uh, dividend as well um, dividend as well so that's the condition. We're just keep trying to double this accumulator um, every iteration uh, until we couldn't do so anymore. Uh, that's the time we do the actual subtraction. And uh, we increment the quotient by the i here. So that's uh, a improvement on the linear pass algorithm. Uh, the time complexity for this uh, can be a little bit tricky, I guess. So we are essentially reducing the number from 32 to uh, 63 to 31, then to 15, then to uh, 7, I guess. So uh, the number of times we've done this is going to be log, log of n. Um, so that's, uh, that's the outer loop. But inside that, it's uh, it's another log as well. So, um, you know, we we start with a divisor and double it every time until we reach the uh, the, the the divided number. So, in the worst case, uh, you know, which is the uh, very first uh, uh, iteration uh, of the inner loop, it's gonna be log m uh, log m multiplied by log n. Uh, roughly, roughly this. So it's a uh, log n squared. Uh, worst case. Uh, so I think it uh, it uh, it should be it should be this. I I I'm not proving it. it I, I think it's um, by a quick quick reasoning. It's uh, it's this number. Uh, so it's not uh, entirely logging yet, but it's much better than the uh, linear time algorithm. So let's just look at the, this uh, code and see uh, what are the redundant work that uh, where can we still cut uh, extra work. That's uh, I think that that it's quite obvious that uh, we uh, in every in the loop here we start this accumulator by this divisor number and just double it every time. Uh, the the other way of doing that is to figure out the maximum accumulator. Uh, that uh, we're gonna be, uh, you know, be able to get uh, still within the dividend, and for each inner loop here, instead of uh, starting with zero, we're actually gonna halving the accumulator. Uh, that would be uh, uh, just uh, halving the number would be uh, just shift this accumulator by uh, to towards right by one. Uh, we don't need to go start from one to uh, the uh, the maximum accumulator in every inner loop here. That will reduce the uh, uh, running time from um, square to uh, you know uh, strictly log n. So let's code that. Uh, uh, just do that improvement as well. Uh, so the uh, instead of a uh, and directly go to the loop we try to figure out uh, the maximum accumulator uh, the maximum amount we can uh, subtract uh, uh, from the div dividend uh, it's gonna be the same code as uh, here uh, except uh, um, we just do that once um, okay. and um, I should just copy it. Uh, yeah, it's the same. Uh, for for i, it's the same. It's uh, i is always going to be a positive number. So let's leave it there, and then we're going to do the uh, actual subtraction.
So we, we have to do a condition testing here because every iteration inside the while loop, we're gonna halve the accumulator by half. Uh, but after we do the halving, we can still be larger than the dividend. So we need to do a testing. Only if we can do the subtraction, we do the subtraction. So it's uh, effectively moving this uh, divide and uh, uh, this updates uh, inside this condition, and then we do the half. Uh, we have the uh, accumulator as well as. Uh, uh, have the uh, you know the counter i here. So uh, this is uh, uh, the improved code. Uh, it should be log in. because uh, uh, the inner loop here um, we're doing this shift this. Uh, uh, 32, 32. It takes uh, at most the 32 uh, or 31, 32, 32 shifts to uh, make this accumulator from the number into zero. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much. Uh, uh, so we effectively we multiply 32 to the log n, uh, and uh, since 32 is constant, uh, it's kind of constant. It's uh, this algorithm is constant. So that's uh, pretty much the code. Um, let me do a quick check to see if we have problems. Um, this beginning here, we handle the uh, dividend being the integer minimum and could potentially overflow here. Uh, this is just, uh, I'm not sure if we need this line. Um, let's just keep it here. I'll try to remove it later on to see if it works. Um, if it didn't, then there must be uh, some modification to the body here that can handle this. Um, it's just seeming similar to me, I can uh, immediately return a result for this uh, edge case. Um, so that's why I put it there. Uh, the This gets the sign and this converts the number, uh, both of the number to be negative. Uh, quotient it's initially zero then um, we try to figure out uh, the maximum number we can subtract in the very first uh, in with a loop here and then uh, and then we just try to uh, subtract the number from the div dividend until we couldn't do that anymore uh, each in the loop here we do a testing um, and then do a shift in the end we return the uh, quotient in the correct sign so it looks uh, it looks right to me uh, let's submit to see if it works okay yeah uh, it's uh, it's working uh, all right, so that's uh, this question I, I actually don't think it's that bad um, it requires you some reasoning actually and uh, uh, thinking about how you can improve something that's linear um, uh, so you, you go to uh, log territory by uh, try to reduce the number by half uh, each time instead of a decrement by one so uh, that's that's pretty much the this question uh, so uh, bye for now